Well, we figured we'd like to talk a lot about Modown and kind of how you guys, you know, work together and, and, you know, things like that. I mean, your relationship goes back with Saranac, and you guys want to kind of, how, how did, first of all, how did it come about? Well, it started when we were about 16. <laughs> <laughs> um, who, how, how, how did we develop a working relationship? I don't even know how that... Uh, yeah, you probably have a better handle on that. I'm, I'm trying to think about it. <laughs> my, uh, my sister went to school with, with Al. Okay. Um, we've always loved their music. They're local guys. Yeah. And uh, it just made natural sense. And we hook up and, and support their music and support our beer. And then that translated we to Modown, right? beer for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> right. That was probably, like, there's that. <laughs> they, they paid their dues. Yeah. Right. <laughs> But you know, and, and and a lot of that. I mean, this this you know, w without without being uh, you know too facetious, a lot of that really makes sense. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, uh, the Saranac company uh, uh, has has been in the Utica area for, for over a hundred years now, and you know, it's meant a lot to uh, to the area, to a lot of families in that area, uh, provided a lot of employment. But you know, it's done it's done so much good for the area, and you know, you know, our roots are there. You know, we we all grew up there. Uh, you know, we, you know, we, we, we have that same, we embody that same kind of, uh, I don't know, that same mentality when it comes to our own organization. And, you know, uh, even though um, I may be the only one who still lives in the Utica area, we still very much have a family-like atmosphere with our organization, uh, even though uh, we're spread out, uh, you know, all over the country at this point. Some of the people who have worked for us have worked for the company since we started, mm -hmm. and it's a very family-like atmosphere. And, um, you know, we uh, share a lot of the same principles, I think, and so mm -hmm. it makes sense that the two, you know, the, mm -hmm. the, the two businesses would come together and, and, and try, and, try so, and work together. I think that just to that point, I think that's really cool because we're a family business, but mm -hmm. they're a family business as well. Definitely. And, and it shows. Now, so the, the transition to Modown was probably a natural one. I mean, was that something that had had been a natural progression of you guys just uh, working together previously, or how like how did you know was that just an extension of what you guys were already doing with Saranac? You know, what came what came first was Modown uh, kind of the catalyst for working together? Or was I think we actually worked with you guys for like we started talking about some we, we were throwing around some ideas and. Before, before you guys started exactly. working with Modown, and then exactly. that you know it progressed into you know well this this has to be I mean exactly. you know where Modown is about a large party over mm -hmm. the weekend and you can't not have beer at a giant party <laughs> like, like oh, has to be I personally accent. love that party. So. <laughs> <laughs> and you know here we are you know here we are in the Adirondacks you know uh, yeah this, this, you know this, stones this. throw from the Utica area mm -hmm. and. Uh, you know, we had actually worked with... Uh, we need with, low and brow, that's what we yeah. had. <laughs> <laughs> we had actually worked with, with um, uh, some other breweries uh, on the event before, and, you know, we... We'll cut this part out. No, but I mean, it's... And you did it very tactically with some other breweries, which is cool. Well, it's, it's true, though. I yeah. mean, you know, and, and the thing is, you know, we, we talked all along about the fact that we wanted to work with Saranac, and we tried to make it work, and ultimately, Know, that was something that was important to us, and you know, ever since you know, ever since we did, you know, we've been together ever since, and uh, you know, it was important to us. Now, you guys have uh, before we kind of sat down. You guys were talking about how you're recycling the the tour. You know, you're, you're recycling water bottles on tour, and I know that Modown's going. Um, you, know, you guys are very conscious of its environmental impact, and can you talk a little bit about? what you're doing this year to kind of minimize the, the impact on the environment, whether that's through, uh, I think you guys are doing uh, biodegradable cups. Yep. And I mean, what, you know, what are the, what things are you guys doing at the festival? Um, oh, we're canceling the event. <laughs> <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> turns out the only way to really, uh, um, it's the greenest thing that we could do. Yes. Right. <laughs> um, well, we're, 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 you know, we're going with a lot of, with all biodegradable cups, and we're going with, um, I think, I think, I think we're forcing all the vendors to use all biodegradable, um, plates and material. Mm -hmm. Right, materials. yeah, we're trying to use, uh, yeah. if not biodegradable, I think we're, uh, trying to get the, like, all the, uh, compostable, um, 
the, the that's plastic what, wear. That's what I meant. Is that not? That's the same thing, right? Uh, they're they're two different kinds. Compostable and biodegradable. I don't we'll, we'll cut this part out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give people a chance Editors to you know, look it up right. at, in Wikipedia. Right. Mm -hmm. These are all like we'll special, special bags, bags. Right, exactly. <laughs> trash bags right. that are. We'll have an appendix. All we know is we want to do good. Good. Yeah, we're trying, man. Right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll bleep that part. <laughs> you guys mind uh, talking a little bit about kind of some of the behind the scenes stuff for the, for the festival? You know, whether that's. Um, first of all, how do you go about. Are you guys intimately involved in planning the festival in terms of getting the bands and everything like that? Or, you know, to what degree is it? I know Mo is the host, so. Yeah, we don't. We don't. Um, we don't do like, you know, the the in and out micro managing of what's happening, but, um, you know, we're, we're the band start with us basically. Mm -hmm. The band list starts with us, and we go. We we have everything to do with that from the you know from the from the get go. We'll start working on it. Like, like that. Uh -oh, what's going on here? Hey! <laughs> Holy shit! Say hi to Chuck. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I <laughs> what were you guys doing? Book <laughs> 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 club. Business meeting. Book club. Put Jim on the front on both of them. Speaking of running the festival. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you, you guys just announced uh, your final acts. You, know, you guys want to talk about that a little bit and uh, why you chose the, the band you did? and. Well, it starts. It starts with you know our long list of who we want to get, and it's it's a process that takes all year long. Sometimes, like this year, you know, we start. Well, I, was, I was about to say we start sometime two months after Modown, maybe, yeah, 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 or sooner. Yeah, yeah. So we start the conversation long at Modown mm -hmm. usually, and usually around you know around a keg at Modown. <laughs> yeah. You know, late at night after one, you know, on mm -hmm. Saturday night at Modown, we started right. talking about the yeah. following year and what we're going to okay. do to improve things at that point. And, you know, that's how we start making plans for the following year. And, you know, like, this was great. Next year we're going to, you know, and fill in the blank. And it may be about the bands, it may be about, you know, recycling and compostable goods mm -hmm. and, you know, and, you know, who knows, you know. Mm -hmm. um, so we start. The funny thing is, like, the, the the last band we just announced was Cake for this year, and they were at the you know at the top of our list from pretty much from from last year, and we asked them early and they couldn't do it. We asked them again, they couldn't. Then we just kind of forgot about it, and then just like within the last couple of weeks, we're like, so tell us about Mo Down again. <laughs> like the the routing changed, and we had a, you know had a, still was looking for that spot for somebody like them, and it just worked out. And that it, I, it works out like that quite a bit. It's just like all of a sudden we'll get like the last minute call from somebody. It's you know usually it's somebody we've contacted, so it's somebody on our list. But it's a really it's it's a touchy process. It just sort of it's complicated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is that how I mean, it works? You, you've, you've tried to go out to dinner with you know three or four of your friends, and right. you know and then when you start getting like three or four more friends involved, you know before you know it, it's I like want eight, no, nine o'clock at night, and you yeah, haven't eaten yet. People are starting to get cranky. Before you know it, you're just like, too cranky to make it. <laughs> whatever, like, and then you either like make a sandwich yeah. and just like blow everyone off or whatever. And then, and that's, or you make cake. Yeah. You know, 